So tonight's job is spreading out rock. A landlord owns this house here. There's two renters, it's a duplex. He had 20 tons of rock brought in and the renters were supposed to spread the rock. And one guy did part of it, but the other renter didn't do anything and he got tired of waiting for them to do it. So he called us. You just got done using your blade for the first time. What'd yeah. you think? Um, it actually worked probably better than I expected. I mean, I was a little concerned that it wouldn't have enough uh, downward pressure to actually dig into those rocks, especially when I first saw them. Right, yeah. They'd been driven on a little bit. He said not a whole lot. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't dig into something really hard, um, but uh, it, it worked pretty well for that. It actually dug in about the right amount. If it had dug any more, then I'd had to been much more careful to keep from digging, gouging, you know, root to me. So it worked really well. pictures and then you go by what they tell you. I mean, he, he told me that there was a hump and I thought, well, maybe I see a hump there. Um, but then he also told me that there was 20 tons of rock. Well, I know how big of a pile 20 tons of rock make and I can tell that it had been spread out some. So you kind of have to use your intuition to figure out how much effort it's really going to be because that's, you know, it's just a guess. What do you think so far? Yeah, I think you'll be able to get it. Looks Easier like than a bucket and a shovel? <laughs> that you did several different techniques. Can you talk about those a little bit? Well, the objective was to take this hump down that you could kind of see in the middle. And uh, it wasn't too exaggerated of a hump by the time we had got there. There was some. So the, the primary thing that I did was use the rear blade and try to just kind of shave off the hump. One of the side effects of that was that I would leave ridges of the side of the blade. Yeah. And I also had trouble spreading it just real smoothly like that. So I found that if I went backwards with the bucket, like I've done many times, yeah. that that actually, and I can also put down pressure on the bucket. I actually found that that was about as good a way to smooth something out as, as what I have. Well, don't you think it's like rough on the bottom of your bucket and then tear the paint up? For one thing, I just repainted it the other day. True. But yeah, it, it tears the paint off of that almost immediately. That's, so you just think that's, that's okay, you'll just repaint it again? Yeah. If you're worried about the paint on your bucket, you pretty much uh, might as well plan on not using your tractor. That's true. That's uh, something you just have to do. I suppose one of the biggest challenges I faced was he wanted the rock all the way up to the edge. And I would get it pulling really good with the rear blade, but I couldn't get that far. And I would kind of just drive off into the brush, but that still wasn't Yeah, you enough. drove off into the tree limbs a lot. Yeah. yeah. And so then uh, what I would have to do is come back and, and either push it with the loader bucket or you know turn around and push it backwards with the, the blade. Now, had that rock been there another six months and got kind of packed in, it would have been difficult. Yeah. Do you uh, think your bucket with the teeth on it, though, could have moved it? That's what I would have had to have done, was dug in with the teeth. If but I that would have taken a lot more time. Yeah. like playing road building it's kind of cool that actually looks like a good parking place right there oh okay yeah what would have been your perfect machine to do that job everybody that's watching is probably going to say that uh, I needed a box blade because that's what everybody says because okay. you've got to have a box blade to do any
it's definitely high right where he's at. Yeah. When did you have the rock brought in? Two weeks ago. Okay. They only driven on this for maybe a week. Okay. Christy and I were talking this evening about the different style of thinker that we have encountered on our projects later in the summer than we did in early in the spring. Early in the spring, we encountered people who had been pondering their projects all winter, had them very detailed planned, you know, kind of an engineering type approach. Uh, you know, for instance, that tilling job where he had drawn exactly how he was supposed to till that, that big, yeah. big plot. Well, we're seeing a different type of project now. I think we're having three projects in a row here. This was the first one he said, I tried to spread 20 tons of rock with a bucket and a shovel. So it had been yeah. quite hot. Yeah. And I imagine they just threw in the towel and said, this is not worth it. So we've got two more projects lined up just like that, where people have uh, said, oh, this is too much work. It's too hot. Yeah. We've got to find some help. And, and uh, I actually enjoy that. They really appreciate what you come in and do for them in an hour because they realize how much manual labor that saved them. Right. Well, this was a good project, and I'm glad we got to show you the blade in action. I wish it was compatible with the quick hitch. That would make it a lot nicer. But if you haven't seen that, we did make a video about trying to make it quick hitch compatible. Well, at least talking about trying to. Yeah, I think it was we mostly kinda, talk, yeah. I think we kind of... Hot air. Yeah. But uh, that's quite an enjoyable video. We'll put a link to that in the description. We'll also put a card to it up here to the right of the screen on your PC. Subscribe, leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor Time, time with, with Tim. Tim.